Hello watch lovers, welcome to Theon Harris. Oh, in that case, what's up watch fam? I'm Matt from Chronomat. You guys are probably thinking, what is this Asian man doing on my screen? I know I'm not Christian or Anna, but you guys are stuck with me today, so you might as well try and enjoy it. In all seriousness though, Christian was kind enough to give me this spot on his channel to talk about and to review some more affordable watches. Watches that you wouldn't typically see on the Theo and Harris channel. Which is why for this video, we'll be talking about one of the best affordable dress watches out there. The Orient Bambino. Before we get into the different variations of the Bambino, I wanted to tell you guys some reasons why I personally love my Bambino so much. I bought my Bambino version 4 with the blue sunburst style just around this time last year, right before my high school graduation. Just a little gift to myself. And since then, it has become the piece that I find myself wearing the most. The Orient Bambino is really one of the best, if not the best, affordable dress watch out there. And with most versions, is able to be worn up or down, making it an extremely versatile watch. I don't want to ramble on too much, so let's just get into each different version, as Orient calls it, of the Bambino. So each version of the Bambino sticks with this dressy and clean design, and does it quite well if I may add, as it is able to do this without looking bare. So far there have been 5 versions of the classic Bambino, as well as 2 special versions. Two versions that change up the clean design, just a little bit. Firstly, of course, we're starting with version 1. These pieces featured rhomboid shaped hour markers, as well as dauphine styled hands that come matching the color of the case. Since these hour markers are a bit larger than normal markers, they have this trait of catching the light beautifully. This version of the Bambino comes on an alligator strap, again stressing the vintage theme of the piece. The second version takes a shot at being a more complex old school type watch, making use of Roman numerals as well as a more prominent chapter ring with two lines around the outside of the dial. The dial is crowded, though this is balanced with the more refined hands. The crown, compared to the squared off crown of the version 1, tapers in moving closer to the case, again showing its classier side. This piece still follows the dressy sense of the Bambino that the first version pioneered, just adding a bit more flair in the retro aspects. Version 3 of the Bambino are for all of you guys that didn't want the full dress watch but still wanted something elegant for your wrist. It follows a more boho style design with block styled hands, simple straight edge indices, as well as no border around the date window, something that I honestly quite appreciate. This is by far the most casual iteration of the Bambino so far and would be perfect for more relaxed occasions. The fourth version of the Bambino is a style that is very similar to the first version, although with thinner hands and thinner indices. One thing that Orient changed on this version that is missing from the other generations is the use of common size lug widths. The lug width of this version 4 measures in at 22mm, while on 1 through 3, you're looking at 21, something that would prohibit a lot of watch straps compatibility. Though this piece has a more convenient lug width, the size was also bumped up, it being 42 on this piece compared to 40 and a half on the others. This piece is the one that is in my personal collection, and is also my favourite of the generations, though I may just be biased. This piece takes the classiness of the first version and pairing it with a larger case and slimmer markers, I feel can be worn up or down. As I said earlier, I personally purchased this piece to wear for my grad, but I find myself wearing this piece with just a polo. It won't appeal to everyone because of the larger case and size, but for me, it ticked all the boxes. The last of the regular versions is this past year's release, of course, the version 5. This is an extremely well designed piece that integrates a new font and really changes up the dial design. Honestly, this piece doesn't feel anything like the others. With the use of Brigade style numerals and the small dot chapter ring, the watch has a very distinct casual vintage vibe. I don't think that this watch would be as versatile in the practical sense of matching every outfit, but the distinct look of the Brigade numerals and leaf hands, it really makes up for it. I mentioned earlier that Orient has released two kind of special versions of the Bambino, the first of the duo being a small seconds. Again, it's a great looking piece, the main obvious difference being the seconds hand repositioning to a separate register above the 6 o'clock position. The piece also features Arabic numerals for the 3, 6, 9, and 12 markers, but what's strange about this watch is that Orient decided to keep the 3 o'clock index despite the date window also being placed at the same spot. You could either like this or despise it. They tried to compensate for this decision by making the date window considerably smaller than on other pieces, but to me, it looks a bit crowded. This piece would be great, however, for anyone wanting a cleaner experience reading the time, but still wanting a bit of complication on the dial. The last version of the Bambino is virtually the same piece as the version 4, besides a couple of pretty significant changes. Of course, this being the open heart at 9 o'clock. As well as this glimpse into the fire of the belly, we lose the date window, something that I don't exactly hate on this watch, as it just cleans up the dial. The caliber to be found in versions 1 through 4 of the Bambino is the in-house F6724, while in the small seconds in Gen 5 we have the F6222, and the open heart we have the F6T22. This F6724, the caliber that we most commonly see, 
is a hand winding hackable caliber with a 40 hour power reserve, feeding away at 21,600 beats per hour, reducing to about 6 beats per second. Each of these calibers is similarly built, just minor adjustments for the different features that each watch may offer such as the small seconds. What Orient listed as their accuracy is plus 25 minus 15 seconds per day, but in my use I've been lucky only gaining or losing around 10 seconds per day, which isn't the absolute greatest, but for this amount of money, most of these pieces being readily available for around 100 bucks and the more expensive pieces only around 300, you can't beat the value. I mean name a better value automatic piece that is also in-house and looks great on the wrist. As I'm sure that you guys can tell by now, the Bambino is a piece that I think represents the highest value for money really out there. The formal styling of the piece is executed expertly, and the piece has the tendency to appear much more expensive than it actually is. Anyone looking for a more affordable automatic piece for formal occasions or less than formal occasions, the Bambino is a wonderful choice, especially since the design varies so much between different versions and different case colors. There's really one for everyone. Well guys, thanks for watching this video covering all of the current Orient Bambino collections. If you enjoyed the video, then feel free to check out my channel, Chronomat. We are fast on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Theo and Harris, and while you're at it, check out the Theo and Harris watch shop for all the cool vintage pieces available. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your watch collecting. It's a Rolex Submariner reference 16613 Certi. It's a two-tone sub with